everybody? This is the Awesome Nerd Show, and today we have another unboxing. Now, this is somewhat of a new box for us. Um, we have gotten one of these already, but um, we wanted to kind of see how and what kind of items were in it first before we did videos. But it is um, the Firefly Cargo Crate. Um, so this is a special box done by Loot Crate. It's a um, combination of QM and Loot Crate um, working together to build this crate. And so each one of these crates is based off of the character from Firefly. Um, and so this month is Jane, as you can kind of see the picture there. And of course it says Janestown, birthplace of Mudder's Milk, and then a picture of like a um, Jane statue um, from the show. Um, so we'll open it and see what, um, I guess, Jane related stuff we have in here this um, month. <clears throat> now, I um, do want to say I don't know a whole lot myself about Firefly. Um, so I've seen a couple episodes, but I don't know um, a lot about it. I know a few characters and stuff like that, but I don't know a whole lot. So probably be um, have to ask Bro about a lot of this stuff. Um, but yeah, I just don't know much, so I have to just go with it. So first up, we have our shirt, and of course there is a logo. Um, again, I have no clue what the logo <laughs> is at all. We'll probably have to read the card or something to see what it says, but it obviously looks like some sort of um, logo, and it kind of looks like a you know like a, Ch a Chinese logo or something like that with a fish in the background. But again, don't know what um, what it's for or anything, so I'll have to look it up. Um, next up, we have a little. Um, uh, they're called Q bites, and so it's a Firefly figure. So there's um, all the options in the back. So, um, so it'll be interesting to see who we, who we get this time. In the last box, we got Jane. Um, so it would have been nice to have him for this box, um, but we'll see. Hopefully, we don't get a repeat. No, we don't. So we have. Uh, can't think of one. Um, what's her name, bro? Kaylee. Kaylee. That's right. Now. Um, we obviously, as I mentioned, didn't do a video on the last one, and uh, Kaylee was who came at, or was the character from the last box, um, and so now we got one to go with her, and we got Jane in the last box, and he goes with this one, so it's kind of cool. Um, but it's her in her um, little like mechanics gear outfit and everything, so that's really cool with her teddy bear on it and everything. So that's a cool figure once again to go with our um, other Jane one. Then we have um, the pin, and so it's got a gun and says, let's be bad guys on it. So that is really cool and has what I'm guessing is like Jane's gun, he, his signature gun. Um, next up we have a um, gold coin, I'll say, I don't know for sure what it is. It's a coin of some sort and obviously it's a fake one, um, but it's in like a plastic container and stuff. Um, but it's a um, coin with Jane's face on it, kind of like, you know, the president coins and stuff. And it says the hero of Canton then um, says 2513 uh, Jane Cobb, which is obviously his name. Um, it says Higgins Moon Red Sun System, so obviously probably where Canton is, which is the planet he's from. And then on the back it has that statue that's from that sticker. And it says in Jane we trust, worth one pint of Mudder's Milk. So it's, you know, obviously they decorate this out with um, coin meanings and all that stuff to act like this would actually be a coin, probably from Canton and stuff, <clears throat> worth, uh, you know, the Mudder's Milk stuff to them. So that is really cool that they put that much detail into it. Um, next we have a Firefly Stainless Steel 6 ounce hip flask. So this is going to be cool. And it says Jane Cobb's time for some um, thrilling heroics rum. And just like Mama Cobb used to make. That's what it says on so that's funny. So we'll open this. <clears throat> so of course, it's got the um, logo I just read on the front. It's hard to see with the lighting and everything. But as you can see across there. And then of course it has the QM logo on the back. So that is really cool that um, I can get it open. That they put a flask in here. That's funny. So I was I would assume by this that he uses a flask in the show possibly. I don't know, but it's still really cool that they threw that in there. <clears throat> That's the thing, these boxes have a lot of um, highly detailed, like, worthwhile items in it. And we'll save this for last. And so it's cool to get items like that and stuff that they put a lot of work into. So it looks like we just have a sticker, kind of like the one on, the, or just like the one on the front. So as that, and at the bottom it says Can Higgins Moon, which was cut off, is uh, covered up on ours. So that's the other part of it. So yeah, it's just this sticker on the front of the box. 
we have some sort of picture or something. I'm not exactly sure. But it says Parliament Authority Confidential. And it's like an envelope type thing. So open this up. If I can get it open. And so it's got um, kind of like a um, info thing or whatever on Jane. So all his info and everything um, on the side here and stuff. Then of course a picture of him. And then it's got the firefly and I'm what I'm guessing is um, this planet down here and stuff. So that is really cool that they put all this detail and stuff um, in on him and stuff. And of course like a little like bio type thing and stuff it looks like. That is really cool that they threw this card in in there. Which they didn't have one for Kaylee which I thought would be kind of cool to have one for all of them to you know have more detail on them and everything. <clears throat> and then we finally have our booklet here <clears throat> of course as I just threw across the room so give us a second here <clears throat> thank you bro so as of course um, it says the signal on top and then a picture of Jane and so we'll see if we can um, uh, find what that stuff was so here's some pictures here um, of the items that were in the last uh, box and stuff and so there's just different things you can see through there. There's a recipe for mudder's milk, but it looks like it's got bananas in it, and that's just gross, in my opinion at least. But um, let's see if we can find. So it says dead fish t-shirt, and it says this trendy tee inspired by the one wore by Jane in the show. So I guess it's just supposed to be his, which I don't think we have a good picture of that one possibly now. Uh, but maybe this last thing will show it. So this is the last thing in the milk, or in the milk, <laughs> in the box. And it is the um, QM uh, minifigure of Jane. And so this is kind of the cool thing they're doing with each one of these boxes. Um, each one with obviously the character it's uh, based on or whatever, they put these figures in so you can collect the whole um, Firefly um, team and stuff. So we obviously got a Kaylee in the last box. And so now we have the Jane. And so it's going to be really cool to collect and have all these figures, you know, put together and stuff and have a whole set of the um, Serenity crew. And I assume there's probably some other characters from the show that are in it. But we'll get this open. <clears throat> and so here is the figure itself. And so I guess the shirt's kind of like what he's wearing in there. Then his signature hat, of course, which I'm surprised there's not one in this box. Because um, I know Loot Crate's um, put those in before in other boxes, so I'm surprised they didn't use leftovers and stuff. But then there's, yeah, just the stand that they go on. And so there's an up close of him and everything. So it's really cool. Of course, a lot of detail looks just like he does in the show and everything. And so that is really cool. So that's going to be it for the Firefly box this month. Um, I assume it was cool. I mean, um, it has a lot of Jane related stuff and of course Firefly like um, details and everything from the show, which I think is uh, pretty cool that they add, you know, um, that much stuff in with these boxes and everything. Um, but I think overall that was a um, really nice box. Again, these boxes have a lot of, um, I don't know what you say, like more, um, I have no clue quality items yeah higher quality items than of course the loot crate stuff so if you're a firefly fan um these boxes are i would say worthwhile and stuff because you get a lot of like memorabilia and stuff on your favorite characters um so i'll try and put a link in the description um that can lead you to the um fire or to order these firefly crates and stuff so you want the um if you want to order them um like i said obviously you wouldn't be able to get the jane or the kaylee one but they have you know close to at least say close to 10 more coming up so you can get those and i believe they ship every other month um of course this one was supposed to be here last month but loot crate messed up with shipping or something went wrong there and so we got it now um but i think that um overall of course this is a worthwhile box i don't remember price but i know it's more expensive than the regular loot crate um so that's it. so like i said i'll put a link down in the description be sure to like this video um Leave us any comments you have about Firefly or what items you thought were really cool out of this box um, and who you'd want to see next. Um, I don't remember if they've um, released the thing yet, um, but they kind of like release ahead of time so you'll know. Um, it's Zoe. 
That's Zoe's right. The next box. They did send uh, emails, so it's uh, Zoe. So if you are a fan of Zoe from Firefly, you can go and order this crate and everything. Um, so that's going to be it. Be sure to um, check out our other videos, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.